This is Andre Damon with the World Socialist website. We are at UAW Local 2244, which represents the Numi plant in Fremont, California. Uh, this local was the scene of a uh, YouTube video taken on uh, January 24th showing a confrontation between the auto workers and the UAW leadership. This time, the UAW called the police on its own members to prevent them from videotaping the meeting. She doesn't work there for cameras. She paid union dues just like the rest of us. And then there was a student in there, and, he, and she had a camera in her hand. They told her to leave. I told her to stay right there. She has a right to stay right there. If they didn't have nothing to hide, they wouldn't have told her to turn her camera off. I think she did the right thing. We're here with Maria Gregg, who just uh, had the UAW call the police on her. We had, uh, I think, two cop cars show up with five officers uh, because she was videotaping the meeting. I guess the, the, the UAW was pretty on edge after the last meeting and the, the YouTube video that got on there, right? That's right, yeah. I, I was at the last meeting where um, Javier Contreras, Contreras used foul language towards the membership, and I had that all on tape posted on YouTube and uh, it's pretty much gone viral right now. Mm -hmm. I kept the, the camera rolling, and I actually wanted the police to escort me out. I don't know what law I was breaking. They're not representing us properly. Yeah. It seems like um, there's a different agenda that they're following, and we are going to be um, their pawns. Now that I'm a victim to what how they operate, I can s see more clearly uh, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it the other day, the UAW stands for United Auto Workers, where what the game they're playing, they're divided. They're dividing us auto workers. I think it's ridiculous that I am seen as a threat to them. Um, but for some reason, I don't feel frightened. Um, for the longest time, there have been just people frightened to speak out. I think there, there might be maybe a handful of us, maybe 10 of us, that have just voiced our opinion and, and demanded some answers. If the... If the UAW has 17% of GM, and if the UAW has these billions of dollars in payments that they've gotten, you know, to take over the health care, who actually controls that money? I mean, if the UAW gets smaller and smaller and smaller over time, does that mean, you know, then then whoever the, the officers are at the end of things are the ones that actually own that billions of dollars worth of, you That's know? the idea. That's the scam. <laughs> he got heated because they won't answer a question. If you ask a direct question, they turn around and ask you a question as if to make you look stupid or something. If they're saying that they're going to close and then our union officers are saying, no, they're not going to close, they're going to stay open, that's a lie. Somebody somewhere is lying. Do you think the UAW really represents its workers in any way? I don't think so. In the beginning, maybe, but now they're making money and they're not thinking about nobody else. All it, you know, the, it's all about money. That's, it's all about money. Money, money, money. They want money. They want our money. And they're getting it. And, and what do we get? We're losing our jobs and they're promising us the plant's going to stay open. If you ask a question they don't like, they go on to the next question, they don't answer yours. I've been cut off several times. The meeting was a joke. They didn't answer any of our questions. It's the same that it's been in the last three months. We've known of the shutdown for eight months, but yet we're down to the last month and we still don't know what their package is. I mean, we've heard the company has told us what they want to give us, but the union really has not given us any information. And like I said, at a membership meeting, if you ask a question, they try to go around it and then when you try to press that question, they say, okay, thank you for your question, and they move to the next person. They did that to me twice today. We have definite conflict of interest and misrepresentation by the UAW. With the UAW owning 17.5% shares of General Motors, they've got no business representing us. They're standing over there because they know that if they come in there, what are they going to arrest you for, having a camera? They can't arrest you for having a camera. There's nothing in there that says you can't have a camera. We pay for this building every month. We pay to be represented. So why are they going to arrest us? Arrest us for what? Good luck. Talk about intimidation. You just see a second microphone in there? Our dues pay for a second microphone, we don't have it. Why? Because they don't want to put it out there. They want to turn it into a fiasco. They create this consequence right yeah. So would you support a break with the UAW? I hear it. Talk of course. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Do you feel like it's gotten to a point now that it would be necessary to break with the UAW yeah, to I defend a worker's be. rights? I think it would be. There's going to be a time, I figure, within the next couple of years where the UAW, you know, just like Toyota, you know, they're they're taking a, hit, a beating right now. The UAW will too, because you can only get away with so much for so long, and then afterwards, you know, it's all going to come to a head.